So in this video, I'm going to go over things to help you with the inner thigh flexibility and to be more open in the inner hips. So let's begin in a downward facing dog, hands down, feet towards the floor. And why don't we step the right foot forward, drop your left knee to the floor, and just begin to warm up the top of your left thigh here. So as you descend to the floor, and you breathe into the hip, maybe lift through the chest, you're going to feel a nice deep stretch in the left side. Just stay here for a few moments breathing. You can bring your hands to the floor, hands to your top leg, or reach it up to the ceiling. Go ahead and bring your hands to the floor, and we're going to bring the left toes to the floor and come towards the center, coming into a deep squat. So I like to bring my forearms on my inner thighs. And from here, depending on your flexibility, you can bring your butt down, you can lift up, maybe play with one, one shoulder down, then the other shoulder down. So let's hang out here for a bit. So sit down into a nice deep squat. So bring your butt towards the floor, and then use your arms to press your inner thighs away, opening up through your inner thighs. Good. So, so staying here, breathing into your hips. Good. And if you'd like now, let's bring the hands to the top thigh, one shoulder down, feel the twist, press your left inner thigh away with your left hand, and take the other side, right hand presses your right inner thigh away, finding your twist. Good. And come back through the center and just take a forward fold all the way down. So feet are a nice, a uh, nice distance apart, relaxing your head to the floor. And wherever, whatever flexibility you are, you may need to bend your knees here a bit if you're more tight in the hamstrings, that's fine. Maybe towards straightening the legs. And again, let's bend the knees, come back into that deep squat. Sometimes it's really nice to repeat a stretch a few different times because you'll notice you're a little bit deeper each time. Awesome. Now let's turn towards the back. Left foot forward, drop your right knee to the floor, and again, come into this nice low lunge, stretching out now the top of your right hip. So what's helpful is you, you know, find, go as deep as to where you know it's, it's um, a good stretch, and then breathe into your top thigh, descending your right hip to the floor. Good, so feeling a nice deep stretch. You can stay here, or if you wish, reach your hands up. Good. And let's bring your hands back to the floor now. And let's take this stretch. So your knees are on the floor and your feet are out like a frog. So what you begin to do, maybe come onto your elbows and send your hips back. So you're, it's a deep stretch in your inner thighs and hips. So work on opening the knees. And then once you feel the stretch, press your hips towards the wall behind you. So pressing your hips back, breathing into your inner thighs. Good. And then coming on to your hands, and just walk your knees a little bit closer together. And let's sit all the way on to your butt, bring the soles of your feet together. And just take this stretch by having your hands, your thumbs to your inner feet, lift the heart, press the knees down with your elbows. And you can either stay here or, if you wish, you can maybe fold over your feet. Either way is fine. Good. Just keeping that constant pressure of your arms, pressing your knees down towards the floor. Good. And making your way out of this, just come back into a forward fold at the front of the mat. So in a nice forward fold, step your right foot top of the mat in the center and take a big step back with your left foot. Come into an extended angle pose. So you can maybe keep your right fingertips to the floor and use your right arm to press into your right thigh to help spin your chest open. So you're going to feel the stretch right in your inner right thigh here. And since we're working on uh, the inner thigh flexibility rather than 
you know, the full pose, you can just keep your arm, your left hand on your left hip. Just breathing into your inner right thigh. And let's flow to the other side. You can walk your hands across. Left hand to your inner left thigh, right hand on the hip. And press your left arm into your inner left thigh. And you will feel a stretch right along your inner thigh here. And hang out here, take a few deep breaths. And let's flow back to center again, bring hands on the top of the thighs. Descend the butt down. This time, why don't we rock side to side slowly. So anytime we're moving, we're moving slowly. We're not, we're not jolting our body. We're going slow with intention. Good. Now place both hands on the floor. And depending on how your knees are, you may sit on your left heel, lift your right toes to the ceiling. Good. So to start, if you need to stay on the ball of your left foot, this foot, that's okay. Working towards getting left heel on the floor and right toes up. And again, we're going to feel the stretch right in the inner thigh of the right, of the right leg. And using your hands if you need to, or just flowing to the other side, and then bringing your hands to the floor. Again, trying to bring your right heel down, feeling the stretch in your left inner thigh. Just hanging out here and breathing. And pressing up, coming again into your forward fold. Just taking a break from all that inner thigh work. And walk your feet so they're in the center of your mat. Slowly roll your spine coming on up. And that'll do it. That's a quick inner thigh opener. If you're working on um, things like coming into your full side splits or just want to have a little bit more uh, flexibility in the hips, that's a great uh, short sequence you can do daily to help you know, work your inner thighs and eventually get more open in the hips.